There was two totally different perspectives at the Senate gun hearings today uh, from two totally different women. One was Gabby Giffords, of course, the congresswoman who was shot in the head uh, in the shooting in Arizona where many people died. Uh, she gave emotional testimony against guns, saying that we should have some degree of gun control. Gail Trotter was a woman who uh, came within came with a completely different perspective. She's a senior fellow at the Independent Women's Forum. This was a forum organized by a conservative woman to defend Clarence Thomas. So obviously she would have a lot to say about gun control. Let's hear her out. Compelling story of Sarah McKinley. Home alone with her baby, she called 911 when two violent intruders began to break down her front door. These violent intruders broke down her door. One of the men had a foot-long hunting knife. As the intruders forced their way into her home, Ms. McKinley fired her weapon, fatally wounding one of the violent attackers. The other fled. Later, Ms. McKinley explained, it was either going to be him or my son. It wasn't going to be my son. Guns make women safer. Wow, that seems like a powerful story. Well, let's see if it holds up under questioning. Let's hear more from Gail Trotter. Over 90% of violent crimes occur without a firearm, which makes guns the great equalizer for women. The vast majority of violent criminals use their size and their physical strength to prey on women who are at a severe disadvantage. In a violent confrontation, guns reverse the balance of power. Mm, she's sticking up for women. And remember, women are victims. We're going to come back to that point in a second, but let's hear more. Sarah McKinley, in defending her home, used a Remington 870 Express 12-gauge shotgun that would not be banned under the statute, correct? Under the I don't, proposed statute. I don't remember what type of weapon she used. Well, fail. Trust me, that's what it was, and it would not be banned under the statute. So it doesn't, I think it proves the point that with ordinary firearms, not 100 magazine peculiar uh, types of artifacts, um, people are quite capable of defending themselves. In fact, that was your example. Oops. That's Senator Sheldon Whitehouse actually bringing facts to the matter. She's like, I don't know what she used. You're testifying, and this is your big, powerful case and you're the senior fellow at this institute. Didn't you look into what kind of guns she used and whether it would be banned or not? You didn't, hmm? That seems like a bit of a fail. But nonetheless, she's gonna argue with Senator Whitehouse. As a woman, I think it's very important not to place undue burdens on our Second Amendment right to choose to defend ourselves. Oh, I, have I don't know what, I have I don't no know what weapon to she that used. Point. My but point is that the example you used is one that would not bear an argument against the proposal that is before us because that Remington 870 Express is a weapon that would be perfectly allowed. So would it have been unreasonable for her to use a different gun to protect her child? She would clearly have an adequate ability to protect her family How can without you say the that? need for a 100 round piece. How can you of say weaponry. that? You, you are a large man. And you are not a teenage, a tall, tall man. You are not a young mother who has a young child with her. And I am passionate about this, this position because you cannot understand. You are not a woman stuck in her house, having to defend her children, not able to leave her child, not able to go seek safety, on the phone with 911. And she cannot get the police there fast enough to protect her child. And, and she's not simply, used to being in a firefight. And my point simply is that she did it adequately and successfully with lawful firearms. This is a new one. So the new conservative argument is men are not allowed to talk about gun control because they're not women and they don't know how hard it is for a woman to protect herself. Except in this case, she did protect herself with a gun that would be legal. And by the way, if she had that gun or Senator Whitehouse had that gun, being the large man that he is, it wouldn't have made a difference. The dude is dead either way. But here comes the best part. This same Gail Trotter also was against the Violence Against Women Act. It gets a little better. Not only was Ms. Trotter so concerned about violence against women, except that she voted against or wanted people to vote against that act, 
She said one of her stated reasons was because the act embraced gender stereotypes by casting women as victims and men as abusers. Kind of exactly what she just did in that hearing. Facts be damned. 